try to wait for the campers to arrive. Here they go. Here you come. Here you come. Get ready. So excited. It's a new little camp session. Hi, come off the bus. Alright. Go ahead and Put your things over to the side. We've got a few things to go over. I am Raina and I am your welcoming committee at Camp Tingle. Alright, yes, yes, yes. So, things on our agenda to talk about before we uh, get started, right? Okay. You put your stuff to the side. Very good, very good, guys, girls, you. <laughs> you haven't been here before, and you're going to love it. I promise. <laughs> Alright, so, um, just here to welcome you all to Camp Tinkle. Mm -hmm, yeah. So, um, let's see, go over the... The things I need to tell you. Yeah. Ow. Who, who ripped my binder? Did you see this? This is terrible. I bet it was. Let me think. It was a prank. I bet it was a prank from our rival camp. Our rival camp. This camp, Frisian. Frisian? Frisson? Frisson? I don't know. With all that loud music, I don't know how they can sleep. What? I have, I have something in my hair. What? Oh! <laughs> yeah, um, well, I've got, I've got a, a leaf, leaves, a whole branch. Branch, branch, nature. It's nature, it's nature. Yeah. Hmm. I've got. Um, stick. <laughs> yeah, stick. Okay, more. Um, Spirit, right? Yeah. So I actually have um how's that? Do I still have something in my hair? Um my water bottle's so loud and clingy. How about now? Do I still have something in my hair? Um, let's see. Now? Yes. Now? Still have something in my hair? Now? Yes. Oh my goodness. Get it? Ah, um. All right. So, um, let's just move on. Um. So, I'm supposed to tell you that you will feel safe and secure here with our trusted camp leaders. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you don't think I just like hand these <laughs> camp tingle um, ASMR ear badges just out to any 
one willy nilly, huh? Here. So, anyway, um, let's see, what else do I have to tell you about? Boring. Um, okay, yes, so, as is tradition, yes, before we go in and go over your activity schedule, um, comes our camp song, which is a wrap. So, if you have heard this one, join me. Welcome to Camp Tingle. We have our very own jingle. Please allow our greenery to serenade you with serene scenery. Our virtue is serenery. It's a work in progress. All right. So... We're just gonna go over the activity list because, oh my goodness, um, nature is dirty. All right, ready for this? This is great. You're gonna have a lovely time. Okay, so activity schedule for you and all of you. Welcoming committee, that's me, official Raina Tamlin. Survival tips is next. It is the mandatory camp presentation. You will have to sit through that. So um, be warned, it's as lively as we could make it. Okay, yes, and that's by affirmative ASMR. Um, next, we will be meeting with the, um, the camp nurse for first aid information because it's very important that you um, stay safe and that we keep you safe and you don't sue us and all that stuff. So um, be brave, be you ASMR. She is a pro and she is going to um, give you, I think she's going to give you some kits and uh, make sure that you know the general safety guidelines and things. So um, that's really important beyond the camp presentation is specifically the first aid. And um, she'll show you where the, the first aid tent is as well. Okay, so then next, of course, hydration is uh, at the top of the list as well. So we have our hydration station with Whisper Mint ASMR. You're going to love mint. She's got water for you in case you need it at any time. You just stop there and grab some. Uh, it's, of course, free. And um, do other camps make you pay for water and stuff? Well, I hope not. Anyway, um, she's also got like water guns and other things like little cool squishy balls and stuff that you can pick up. Um, you know, if you want to throw them at Camp Frisson or Frisson for ripping up my binder or cutting it. Anyway, um, okay, then uh, Luna uh, ASMR, she's going to do what's in my backpack with you so that you know um, some important things to have with you. And also it's a fun camp game. Uh, Arts and Crafts is next with uh, ASMR Recess. I believe she's going to be making um, those sensory jars with you, which is a very, very cool camp tradition. Okay. Camp Music Leader after that uh, is Chill Pills ASMR. And she, um, as far as I know, according to her application, um, she's, she's really good at the ukulele. And uh, she's going to hopefully teach you um, our camp rap. Uh, and if she doesn't, that's okay. I did. I taught it to you. Okay, so, oh, after that, of course, we have our campfire. What is a night, day, evening, transition, twilight, without a campfire? So Ray, ASMR, will be um, teaching you how to do, make a campfire and roasting some treats with you over it. And then, of course, we have our Camp Tingle ghost story with Satisfactory Dad ASMR, because what is a camp without a legend? A spooky one? Anyway, stargazing after that with Sheila, and um, I absolutely love stargazing, so I'll definitely join you for that one. And then it's bedtime, so tuck you in with, um, Night Blossom Audios and uh, the bunks. She's going to make sure you're all cozy in the bunks. And um, I believe she's going to read you a bedtime story or tell you one. Or um, That's what we do here. We make sure that you have a wonderful, relaxing time. All right, so lastly, some important notes before we move on. I've got them jotted down here. 
Um, I'm really glad they didn't rip any pages out of my binder because I'd be lost. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so also remember to share your Camp Tingle experience by clicking the share button. Um, uh, vote like uh, with a thumbs up so we know you love Camp Tingle. And uh, feel free to subscribe. And um, grab your, oh, ta <laughs> this, is, this is fun. Um, grab your Camp Tingle merch. Uh, we've got logo t-shirts, logo mugs, logo totes, bags, logo water bottles, um, logo pillows, logo journals. Uh, logo honorary camp tingle um, ASMR leader badges in the form of stickers and um, all that you can go grab in the description box okay so we should head over to the presentation okay all right just follow me <laughs> um, I think it's that way <laughs> oh no that's a tree it was it was this way let's go Welcome and hello to our esteemed guests here at the beautiful Camp Tingle. I am your safety and security leader. It is my goal to provide you with the essentials of survival and safety so that your stay with us can be as pleasant and fun as possible. Although there are many resources online to help prepare you for a day out in the wilderness, my team and I have developed an acronym to help you know your mind. M-I-N-D, mind. M is for maps. Knowing your surroundings and its topography ensures you possess vital information about the terrain, such as scalability, plant species, water sources, weather patterns, and wild animal habitats and behaviors, to name a few. Learn how to read analog maps and how to use a sighting compass, as cell phones with apps and even some satellite phones cannot be relied upon for digital GPS or 911 service deep into the woods. Use the Park Ranger and National Park Service websites for additional research and planning for your adventure. I is for intention. What is the goal of your adventure? Are you planning an extended backpacking tour? A stay at an established campsite? Water tours? Or merely a leisurely day hike? Knowing your intention and destination will set the framework for the skills and supplies you will need to ensure a safe and successful adventure. Which brings us to N, which stands for personal nature. Before embarking upon your wilderness adventure, take plenty of time to think about who you are versus the person you think you are. This is of utmost importance when it comes to your natural inclinations and abilities to act upon emergency situations, some of which could require quick, rational, difficult decisions. The reality of the amount of time it takes to plan, to prepare, to assess physical capabilities, as well as mental acuity and stamina, may soon overwhelm you, and this is where you need to listen to your intuition and use common sense to adjust your plans accordingly. TLDR, leave the professional adventure seeking to the professionals. And finally, D is for details. Planning out and providing a trusted friend, family member, or colleague with your supply list, destination, length of time out, and your contact information could provide life-saving information to search and rescue professionals if the need arises. For example, include data such as which trailhead your vehicle is parked at, the color of your backpack, sleeping bag, and tent travel details and sponsoring organization if on a group tour, a current photograph, medical information, even the type of communications equipment that you will carry with you. It may seem counterintuitive to let someone know where you're going, especially if it's a spur of the moment trip and you don't feel the need to be accountable to anyone. At the very least, 
text someone your intentions, leave a voicemail at home, or leave a note on your table. Knowing your M-I-N-D is an excellent tool to assess the type of adventure you desire, how to plan for it, and to know if your goals match your capabilities and training. Remember, safety equals survival and planning equals pleasure. It is equally my pleasure to once again welcome you and thank you on behalf of the Camp Tingles team for choosing us as your preferred campsite and adventure destination. Welcome to the Tingles Camp. Pleasure to have you all here. I'm Nicola, the camp nurse. As you can see behind me is my little teepee. I spend most of my time in there treating any injuries, whether it's small or a bit more severe. Okay, so things ranging from splinters, bee, wasp stings, being stung by any stinger plants, whether you've sprained your ankle, grazed something, all sorts of different things, then I'm here to make things a lot better for you. All right. But also I'm here if anyone needs to have a chat about anything, whether you're feeling a little bit down about being on camp, away from home and things like that, or anything else, then please feel free to just come and have a chat with me and we can see what we can do. All right. So here I have information which I would like to go through with you okay what I will be putting on during camp is actually first aid learning so a group of you could come to me and I could show you some basic first aid how to treat wounds and stings and all sorts of different things like that okay I will be wearing gloves okay when I treat or assess anybody okay and any of you if you need to treat somebody that you're with whether you've gone out walking into the forest or something like that and somebody's fallen over you will have some gloves in your first aid kit in your bags okay so always remember to put on gloves okay right we need to make sure that we stay safe at all times so we need to make sure that we are looking where we are going assessing for any hazards okay please always try to take your time try not to run anywhere unless you have to do so because there are a lot of different logs, twigs and branches and stones and rocks and logs and all sorts of things dotted around through the forests and that can cause a lot of injury. Alright, you'll possibly see a lot of poison ivy around. Now that is very shiny, okay, can be a little bit sharp too, so please keep an eye out for that. You will come across some streams and things like that as well, so please pay attention to the in area. So what do you think you will see the most of when you're walking around camp? What do you think? What kind of hazards do you think that you might come across? Mm -hmm. Yes, most definitely. That is the most common I find is usually a wasp or a bee sting. Yes, very, very common. There is a lot of lovely plants and flowers around so yeah would you know personally how to relieve that mm -hmm. okay so what about if it was inflamed uh-huh yes we do have some of those creams you're right you can see them there but do you think there's anything else that we could do like possibly put some ice on it 
Mm-hmm. Okay, great. That's right. And what happens if we have allergic reaction? Yes, definitely. We do have some EpiPens here. Okay, but if there is anybody that is allergic to these, can you please let me know right now? Okay. And that's just the one. Brilliant. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. I'll probably have to have a little bit of a chat with you at the end if that's all right. Yeah. So, as we do have somebody in the group that is allergic to bees, the bee sting, we do need to be extra careful and mindful of what's going on. Okay. So, you can all come to me. And I think it's best that I show you all how to treat a bee sting. Okay. Great. But other than that, I think it would be great if I could give you all the information leaflet before you go. So you can read through that, just what to look out for, what to be made aware of, the dangers and the things like that. Okay, they're all there in a pile for you to take away. Okay, and you will find in your rooms that you have a first aid kit okay and the first aid kit will include some of these things on here so we've got cleansing wipes bandages plasters dressing tape gloves a foil jacket just in case anybody feels in shock basically okay we have a nice blanket right we have a selection of epi pens some pain relief anti-inflammatory okay and there's all sorts of other bits and bobs in there as well and I think you do get an apron or two in there as well so yes but when you come to me I can go through all that with you we can sit down and I can show you how things work how to do it and then how to treat a bee sting and how to look after somebody that has been stung by a bee and in particularly somebody with an allergy okay does that sound like a plan. Okay, that's good. Well, I will be bobbing around for the rest of the day, okay, while you'll go and meet the other camp leaders, which I tell you, we have a amazing bunch and we have such a laugh here, so I know you'll have an amazing time, okay? But we do want to keep you safe and well while we're here, okay? And a top tip, please keep hydrated as much as possible. All right, get that fluid down, preferably water. It's lovely to meet you, all these lovely new faces. It's always exciting. First day of camp is my favourite. So we want you to all have an amazing time, but we also want you to keep safe and well. All right. But please remember, if you need anything, just knock on my little door and I'll be able to assist you. All right. But like I say... I will see you for some training a little bit later on. Hey guys, I am so happy you could join me today. I am Mint, one of your camp counselors here at Camp Tingle. I am in charge of keeping you hydrated, so I have some information and then some fun water related activities. If there aren't any questions, then I'll just go ahead and get started. Okay.
with that being said, we here at Camp Tinkle want you to stay properly hydrated. So, if you are ever feeling thirsty, please feel free, feel free, feel free to stop by the water station at um, my cabin. Uh, we have small water bottles there, large water bottles, and we also have a water dispenser for those who have reusable bottles. Although, I wouldn't worry too much because we recycle or repurpose 100% of our water bottle waste. Also, I have personal spray bottles for anyone who would like one. Just come and ask and you can get it. These are so convenient, perfect for a hot day. You can refill them. And there's a small, they'll fit right in your pocket and just spritz and go. It's a nice way to refresh your skin, whatever. Stay cool, like I said. And last but not least, I have some water-related activities. I have bubbles, of course, if you're just wanting a nice chill and relaxing time. And from before, you probably saw me messing around with it, I have water guns, of course, so if you wanna mess around with your friends, whatever. I have plenty of those. And then you also might have seen me messing with these water balls. Water balls. And these are really great because you can play catch, you can chuck them at your friend, they don't hurt, they're very soft. They're very soft. So, yeah. Let me know what you need, what you want to do, and let's do it. Let's get out there and have some fun. Thank you guys for being an awesome audience today. I'm Luna. I am the Camp Tingles bag connoisseur. <laughs> I hope you're having a great time here at Camp Tingles with all the wonderful um, camp leaders and all the wonderful activities that have been planned. So today we're going to be doing a little game um, together. So I thought we could play the game of what's in my bag. So I have found my bag, I've loaded up my bag here and I thought we could do a what's in my bag camp edition. <laughs> so let me just unzip it. So what I've done is I've filled this bag with wonderful items from camp or from what we would bring to camp um, and I'm going to describe them and see if you can get them. So the first item, so it's something that you would put on your face, um, blocks out the sun and it can help you see when it's bright. Yeah, so the first item I've got in the bag is sunglasses. So, 
these will help fight against all the UV rays and also help you see when it's bright outside. Perfect. So let me grab the bag. The next item we have in my bag. is okay so you might use this when you want to wipe yourself down from a very busy day of activities or when you want to go to the bathroom um, and it's always good just to carry them when you're out in nature with a just in case you get caught out what do you think it can be Yes, it's biodegradable white. Wipes are great just to use when you need to maybe wipe down your arms after a busy day. Maybe you've been to the beach, maybe you've been to some activity in camp that's muddy. Um, yeah, or they're good for when you're caught short out and you need maybe to wipe your face, you've been sweating after the trek. Um, and just good for hygiene, so if you cut your dress, they're good. So the next item in my bag, let me get it, so this is something that you might bring or we might provide, especially if you're missing home a lot um, and you just want to bring something from home, which is always, always, um, so it always happens, especially to our first, first year campers and it's nice to have something from home. What do you think it is? Yes, it's a little teddy. So, this is mine. And it has a little name. And this name that we can use it is Boss. It has a name on the tag here. And he comes with me whenever I come to camp as a reminder of home um, and makes me feel better so if I miss all my loved ones at home so who do you have next? Mm -hmm. oh wonderful you'll enjoy that so if you do need anything from me please feel free to give me a shout if you would like to talk about anything please give me a shout but I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at Camp Tingles. Welcome campers to Birds and Crafts today and today we will be making a meditation bottle. All you need is some glue, some glitter, some hot water and a bottle. Now if you had some this fun. 
Hi, my name's Ray. I hope you're enjoying your stay here at Camp Tingles. My job as a camp leader here is to teach you guys how to build a fire. But I don't exactly know how. So I invited my friend Joe to come teach us. So maybe we can both learn something. So let's go gather around the fire pit and learn how to build a fire. once a young girl. She didn't have any friends and mostly kept to herself. Although isolated, she was very intelligent and clever. But nobody ever took her seriously. All they saw was a shy little girl. Most would spread rumors because she was always mumbling, but not to anyone visible. It was a dark, cold, stormy night when this young girl had finally spoken to someone other than herself. Her face was pale and her expression worried, as if her greatest fear had bared his teeth. She, she stuttered, they want you to know that they're coming. Her eyes became lifeless. Her voice grew deeper as if it wasn't hers. Her expression grew from a scared young girl 
to a terrifying sadistic smile. And her clothes, although never bright, were suddenly black as coal. She continued. They said that you needn't worry yet. But know that everybody's body will no longer be theirs. Their souls will ascend into darkness. And eventually, all of their emotions and desires will be ground up and sprinkled on the grave of dignity. Her body rose from the ground as though being levitated against her will. The campers around her trembled with fear, drenched in their own sweat. The insane sadistic smile was gone. Her expression was once again worried and petrified. Once it was all over, the counselors made sure that she was kicked out of the camp and thought it was a cruel joke for attention. Hello, right this way to the clearing where the stark is in a physical storytelling can commence at least for many light blues. Here is my Camp Tingle sky map which will help guide us to the planets and deep sky objects which are prime viewing at this time of year. We will first view objects closer to home and journey deeper into space. Beginning with Jupiter, then the constellation Cancer and its cluster, followed by the Cat's Eye Nebula, and lastly, furthest away, we'll have a look at the Andromeda Galaxy. So, please place your eye right here, resting on the eyepiece. Is that comfortable? Here we are. Jupiter, also known as Zeus in Greek mythology, was the king of the gods. It's also the fifth planet from the sun, a gas giant with a famous great red spot, a storm still raging since 1830 and possibly 1665. It has 79 known moons, including one you may have heard, Europa. I'll just calibrate the telescope for you. Next, this modest constellation is known as Cancer, which translates to crab. Long story short, Hera, queen of the gods, sent a crab to help defeat her enemy Hercules. He didn't fare well for the poor little crab. However, Hera still placed the crab amongst the stars for his efforts, albeit a rather dark part of the skies. While we're here, let me zoom in to see M44, the beehive cluster that Galileo studied. He once said, I've loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night, and I'm quite inclined to agree with him, aren't you? Next up is the Cat's Eye Nebula in the constellation Draco. It is comprised of mostly hydrogen and helium. Isn't it hypnotizing? Lastly, and furthest away, Andromeda Galaxy in the constellation Andromeda, also known as M31, is the closest galaxy to our own. Andromeda is the princess daughter of Cephas and Cassiopeia, ancient Ethiopian royalty. Her mother boasted she was prettier than a nymph, which the sea god Poseidon ordered her as a sacrifice for the blasphemy. Luckily, Perseus rescued her from such a fate in exchange for her hand in marriage, which was all very well, as she was betrothed to her uncle. It's one of the brightest Messier objects and can be seen and that's all we have time for tonight. I hope you did have fun. As Carl Sagan once said, we are made of star stuff. We are a way for the universe to know itself. And so tonight, I hope that I taught you a little more about yourself. Excellent. The next camp activity is just down the way and should help you get tucked into bed as it's already quite late. Thank you so much for coming along.
Hello campers. I hope you had a wonderful day with all the wonderful activities. But now it is night time and we know what that means. It is time for sleep. Now everyone hop into your bunk beds. Be very careful. <laughs> there you go. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure that your pillows are nice and fluffed up. Nice and soft. Now, of course, now because of the weather outside, it's a little bit chilly. So make sure you all have your soft, warm blankets. Mm, so warm and cozy. And they shall keep you warm during the night. Now, if you're worried about falling out of bed, do not worry. These bunk beds at Camp Tingles, they have special side barriers that you can just pull up and click into place. So if you want to just do that now, please go ahead. And also, don't forget any stuffed animals that you've brought along with you or your teddy bears. There's nothing wrong with cuddling up with a furry friend. Oh, you all look so cozy. Now it's time to relax, 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 relax. Time for sleep. Now, as a special treat, I'm going to read you a campfire story. Now just lay back, close your eyes, just relax. You are safe and sound in your comfy, warm camp beds. Now, this story is called Dinner for Lunch. Now, if you fall asleep, that's fine. That is the idea. There was a boy who always woke up late, like some of you little campers. <laughs> he would wake up at noon during the holidays. The boy's parents were tired of telling him the importance of waking up early in the morning. One day, his mother decided to teach him a lesson. Before going to bed, the son asked, What are we going to have for breakfast tomorrow, Mum? We will have lunch for breakfast, replied the mother. The boy did not understand the reply, but did not ask its meaning either. He went to bed. He woke up at noon the next day, had his breakfast and asked his mother, Mum, what will we have for lunch? We will have dinner for lunch, answered the mum. In the evening, the son asked, what will we have for dinner? There is no dinner. You had dinner for lunch. Now there is no time for dinner, replied the mother. But why are we not having anything at the right time? Perplexed the son. 
because you never got up at the right time. If you have lunch as your breakfast, then it is only correct to have dinner for lunch. It means you get no food for dinner. The boy understood his mother's intention and realized his mistake. He resolved to get up early the next day. And that is the end of that story. A very important message for you campers. It's best to wake up early to have the meals at the correct time. And breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Now, just relax. You are safe. You are surrounded by friends and camp leaders who will always take care of you while you stay at Camp Tingles. Mm-hmm. <laughs>